Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you 20 tips on how to build in the new Minecraft 1.16 update. Um, there's only been a few snapshots released, but there's definitely some cool new stuff added and I'm going to show you a bunch of them, but we are doing a giveaway for $20 and if you, all you have to do to enter is like, subscribe and comment down below what you would do with the money. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first trick is not designed by me, it's uh, it's it's generally very easy. But the new target block actually functions as a redstone um, output. So if you shoot an arrow at it, it actually gives an output. And if you shoot on the nice center there, we get a coin. Which is displayed from this dispenser running from all the way down there. Just into this uh, <laughs> very crappy uh, redstone system. But yeah, that's how that works. Um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this, I just chose a very simple thingy. Alright, next up we're gonna use um, the new blocks added to make a path, and I always find myself wanting to make a little dark path. You can use this really well in the nether. I know it's very expensive to build with the netherite blocks, but you can keep those out and just change them up by uh, other blocks, but it does work really well if you're in the nether and you want to make a path and gravel. It's just too bright looking for the nether, so there, that just comes really, really handy. Next up we're using um, this new block, and I love this texture so much, it just looks beautiful. I'm using that to make a little fence post slash um, street light from the nether. So we're using shroom lights, all you gotta do is make your fences go up, two gates on the side and just put your decoration on top of it. You can use uh, glowstone, you can use shroom lights, you can use redstone lamps if you want to. You're free to explore around that, but the central block here just makes it look a little bit better. Next up, we're going to the dark zone, because we, we made a butcher shop. Um, and we're using the new, uh, what's it called, weeping vines. To um, kind of act like dripping blood from the meat, which we're using netherward blocks for. And these actually look a lot like meat, which is perfect for this build. You can also use the terracotta for some smoked meat, if you, uh, if you will. And we're using redstone on the floor to add like a little... Drops of blood. Kind of dark. Right next up we have uh, a fully detailed. It's, this You can not use this, but... Um, this this uh, gilded blackstone, it looks a lot like some kind of um, hazard warning block. Just um, colors between the black and the yellow here. It just looks a lot like some kind of hazard block. And we can use that to decorate the vault door we have here. So yeah, it's pretty cool block. I'm probably going to use this in building a lot. Here we have a little hammer design with the um, lodestone. And the bottom texture of it looks a lot like some kind of beaten up hammer hand. Um, I, I really like the new texture for this block. I have no clue what it does, but it looks really, really cool. And which brings me to the next one, which is this thing. Um, I made some kind of support beams for a roller coaster with this. But you can go all the way crazy with this. It's a, it looks a lot like some kind of metal from the side. And if you take it to the correct context, you can use it for a lot of different things. Like we have here in the metal kind of setup rope bedag there, we have it as some kind of walls and it just looks really, really cool. Okay, bringing me to the next ID, which first of all, we're using soul fire lanterns and these things are beautiful. I love them. Um, but this is what the fence fences looked like before the update. And if we just flick this lever here, that looks a lot, so much better. We have an entire flat wall, which basically gives us, yes, it gives us vertical slabs. The building community has been asking for this for ages and Mojang just didn't want to add them. But here we are and uh, yeah. Oh, if you want to see the redstone behind this, yeah. I'm not a redstone genius, so I'll just uh, put this little thing here together. Uh, but this just to show how much you can improve by uh, doing this little trick now. Next up is a bathroom design, which is making use of quartz bricks. And I personally am in a love-hate relationship with this new block. Uh, we're also using stripped crimson stamp for the walls, because it looks kind of... Looks kind of... Uh, good in this town it complement each other very nicely and there's also a new um, banner pattern it's um, piglin green uh, no it's called piglin but I uh, made a green one of them and you can find them 
if you would just type in piglin there you go you got to put this in a loom and you have yourself one of these guys and when i saw this i thought instantly thought of uh, in nintendo i don't know why but it's just it just reminded me of it this one is not really a building hack but it just looks it's it's very very useful i find myself always looking for new shears when i'm cutting out the large forests and look at this if we just go and survive one and give myself a diamond hoe look at how fast i can cut this that's insta mining just look at the comparison and if you put sick touch on it you can even get the drops so this is this is 100 percent better than shears I'm, I'm just saying right on to the next one there we are um this is a very simple trick hey can you can you look for one block that does not match the rest i'll give you a little look around here found it it's this guy because we're using the shroom lights as a backdrop for the honey blocks and the color between these guys just look at this it's weird this this matches the, uh, the honey blocks so well um the glowstone stand out a little bit more which kind of ruins the id if you want to have it like in a dark mode look this looks a lot more natural than if you were going to put a uh, glowstone everywhere so yeah that's just um one quick little thing you can add in your build all right now we're going on to the really really cool stuff and as you saw in the roller coaster thing there we are using the same block polished basalt it's a wall design for this very dark and spooky house design. It's not even a house because <laughs> it's just a flat wall, but I ain't no one no, no. It's the front I meant, right? But you can use this in uh, combination with the other kind of normal basalt to make the roof. And you can go nuts with this. I'm using a very simple design here, but you can go crazy. So yeah, that's really cool. Which brings me on to the next point, which is a door. Yeah. It's not really a door, but it's uh, some kind of, well, this is really Harry Potter, if you were, this is a great screenshot moment, uh, <laughs> thumbnail, uh, I don't know what you can use for, but it just looks very, very nice, with this kind of background, really complement each other. And this is going to be a lifesaver when it comes out the next update, because warped slabs look a lot like Dark Fist Marine. It's a little bit more bright, but in this context, it works really, really well. So, it's going to be way, way less expensive, because you can a AFK farm it with the new um, warp tree farms. And, B, it's very, very much easier to get. Because you, if you want this kind of stuff, to use uh, first marine blocks, you got to go all the way to an ocean, make a farm, do whatever or not. And, yeah, it just takes a very long time. What well, is it? Just kind of then tree. And boom, you got yourself plenty of blocks for this. Next up, we have probably the most expensive wall design slash door entrance ever. We're using the lowstone in the floor as some kind of pedal because it looks really, really modern. Oh, I broke it. It looks really mean and modern and it works really, really good with any kind of modern building. Um, and we're using it also as an iris scan because I went crazy with using these things. You're gonna use them wherever or not. So if we stand on the pressure plate, door opens up and if we go through it brings us to the next one which is using the new blocks as trees and this is it just works perfectly it blends in really nicely you can use this in all kinds of different settings i just use it in this tree here and we're also using the new nether ward i don't even know it's just new but uh, i just never yeah, saw it before we're using that as cast some kind of apples or whatever in this tree setting and it just it adds a lot of color to it uh yeah it works really really well okay the next one is a lifesaver for me because we're using crying obsidian and i just love this texture so much it even gives us little particles and why we did this is because we all hate this sound go a little bit back and just listen to this That's probably one of the worst sounds in your base ever. So what we do to fix that is we break it. And we have this backdrop. And it looks a lot the same. We even have little particles. Which is really new to the game. And what we just do is it looks a lot like a normal nether portal. But it just... The sounds. Everyone hates them. So yeah, that's another really cool tip. I'm, I'm really going to use this one uh, myself. 
bring us to number, I don't know how far we got. Which is a fireplace with a sole campfire. And we're using shroom lights in the background as some even a bigger light source. But you don't need to do that, it just works out really well. We did. Um, we used um, stripped Christmas stamps as the flooring here, so the walls even. And bricks on top of it, but it gives kind of a fantasy feeling, doesn't it? If you were to say, if you were to have this in your house and you went fairy tale crazy or whatever you not, then that would look like really cool. I'm very much in love with this combination of the quartz and that, and oh, yeah, and the bricks on this—it just works beautifully. And we have a little very simple kind of uh, smoke coming out of it. Well, there you are. That's gonna do for this episode. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you if you did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.